pair of choppers. Wow. Uh, look at those seats. He wants to get a piece on you. <laughs> <laughs> From just beneath the water's surface, you catch a glimpse of a pair of mysterious pitch black eyes staring at you. That's unsettling enough, but there's something else. Are those teeth that look just like yours? Is whatever this thing is smiling at you? You're looking at 91 centimeters and nearly 10 kilograms of sheep's head fish, nicknamed the convict fish for its striped prison jumpsuit appearance. Crammed in its mouth are five rows of teeth that look like a dentist's dream come true. These impressive chompers are genetically engineered to crush more than they are to chew. What underwater species need to be worried about getting mouth slammed by this fish? Why do its teeth never stop growing? You'll be surprised at the love-hate relationship these maniacal-looking marine and freshwater fish have developed with people. These omnivores can be found across North and South America. If they happen to be sporting the prison chic attire, you'll see them along the Atlantic coast all the way from Massachusetts down to Brazil. If you do happen to be face-to-face -face with this fish and its toothy, sheepish grin, you'll be in the presence of a mouthful of marvels that might look like your weird neighbor's smile, but have some very distinct differences. Able to make a meal out of nearly 100 different species of ocean and lake species, the sheep's head's front incisor teeth are backed up by three rows of flat molars in its upper jaw and two rows in its lower. From the time a sheep's head is only four and a half millimeters in length, its teeth start making an appearance. Human teeth have a shelf life, and by the time you hit your teens, your adult teeth have moved in, permanently. Not only does its teeth contain fluoride, calcium, and phosphorus like ours, they also have a layer of enameloid, the fishy version of enamel for extra protection. The sheep's head one up us with an ability for its teeth to continue growing throughout its life as its jaws become stronger to meet the physical demands of its surroundings. Clams, oysters, crabs, and even barnacles are all on the menu. The more abundant these armored food sources are, the more intense the bite of a sheep's head becomes over time. Unfortunately for local fishermen, when they're not on the hunt for fresh food, sheep's head are known for their uncanny ability to steal bait and bend fishing hooks in the process. For the ocean-going sheep's head, its adolescent meals start off with soft food, such as marine worms. By the time it hits adulthood, its culinary horizons have broadened thanks to the crushing power of its jaws working in tandem with molars designed to obliterate the defense systems of its prey. This wrecking ball mentality to mealtimes has been an ecosystem savior thanks to the freshwater version of the sheep's head found patrolling the Great Lakes shared by Canada and the U.S. This series of five lakes, the largest in the world, are home to sheep's head fish that don't share the same stylistic appearance as their marine brethren, but definitely have the trademark freaky grin thing going on. In the 1980s, invasive zebra mussels from Europe hitchhiked in ballast water discharged into the lakes. Zebra mussels reproduce quickly, negatively impacting the population numbers of native species by simply covering every inch of surface area they can find. They also create a destructive domino effect, destabilizing the natural balance of ecosystems that can result in toxins forming in the water that can impact both the local wildlife and people. Although zebra mussels are still an ongoing issue in the Great Lakes, Freshwater sheep's head are doing their part by eating as many of them as they can. And with each crunch accompanying another mussel shell being cracked, these bottom feeders are making a difference. Whether they're striped and hanging around marine docks or plain gray and policing lakes for invader species, the sheep's head is one fish you'll never be able to get out of your head. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.